So we want, with autonomy, you get, you get your time back. This is a very big deal. So it's, it's not just a safe, like, it'll, it'll save lives, like a lot of lives, um, and prevent injuries. I, I think we'll see autonomous cars become 10 times safer than a human. Um, I mean, if you, if you think of times past that where there, were, there used to be an elevator operator in every elevator, uh, but uh, once in a while they get, you know, they get tired and uh, they accidentally show somebody in half, uh, you know. So, so now we have automated elevators. You just get in an elevator and you press a button and you don't even think about it. And it just takes you to the floor. And if you did see an elevator operator with a big relay switch, you'd be like, that's weird. Um, now, that's, that's how cars will be. Um, and, and it's not just the, the lives saved in injuries, but if you look at the, think about the cumulative time that people spend in a car and the time that they will get back that they can now spend, well, I guess, on their phones <laughs> or, or, or watching a movie uh, or doing work or whatever you want to do. Um, you can think of the, the car in an autonomous world as being like just a, a, a little lounge. You're just sitting in, in a comfortable little lounge and you can do whatever you want while you're in this comfortable little lounge. And when you get out, you will be at your destination. So, yeah, it's going to be awesome. So, so in, in fact, we, we, I think the, the cost of autonomous transport will be so low that you can think of it like individualized mass transit. Um, the, like the average cost of, of a bus per mile for a city, um, not, not the ticket price because that is subsidized, but the average price is about a dollar a mile. Whereas the, the cost of uh, cyber cab, uh, we, we think probably over time, from the operating cost is probably going to be around 20 cents a mile. Um, and price, including taxes and, and everything else, probably ends up being 30 or 40 cents a mile. So, yes, and you will be able to buy one. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, and uh, we, we expect the cost to be below $30,000. Yeah. And I think there'll be an interesting um, you know, business model where, like, let's say somebody is an uh, you know, Uber or Lyft driver today, uh, it, they, where they can actually sort of manage a fleet of cars and like a sort of manage, I don't know, 10, 20 cars and just sort of, you know, take care of them like a, like a shepherd uh, tends their flock. You have a little your flock of cars and you're the shepherd and you take care of your flock of cars. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, and um, it's, I think it's going to be a glorious future. It's going to be really something special. So... <laughs> yes, good, all excellent questions. Um, so uh, we, we do expect actually to, st to start uh, fully autonomous, uh, unsupervised FSD uh, in Texas and California next year. And that, that's obviously, that's with the Model 3 and Model Y. And then we, we, we expect to be in production with the, the cyber cab, that, which is really um, hi, highly optimized for autonomous transport uh, in probably, well, I tend to be a little optimistic with time frames, um, but, but in, to, in, in 2026. So, yeah. Before 2027, let me put it that way. <laughs> um, and uh, we'll make this, this vehicle in very high volume. And, um, but well before that, you will, you will experience the, uh, a robotic taxi via the Model 3 and Model Y program. And Model S and X too. Uh, but uh, the, the model, the, the three, your 3 and Y will, be, uh, will achieve uh, unsupervised full self-driving um, 